Welcome everyone and thank you for watching. We're going to be making a delicious and healthy black bean and garlic butternut squash dish today. You can use minced pork, chicken or beef or you can skip the meat prep for a vegan or vegetarian version. You can use butternut squash or you can use pumpkin. Butternut squash and pumpkin are both high in nutritional value and have many health benefits. For today's recipe, we're going to be using the butternut squash that I grow in my garden, which are really sweet. We're going to be using half of the butternut squash. You will need to remove the skin and innards of the squash. Cut the butternut squash into smaller pieces. Sometimes people ask me what's the difference between minced pork and ground pork in your recipes. When I say minced pork, I normally mince the pork myself at home and ground pork I purchase from the supermarket. You will need to add 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce to 300 grams of ground or minced pork. Add 1 teaspoon of hoisin sauce. Add 1 teaspoon of sugar. Add a quarter teaspoon of salt. Add a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Add one teaspoon of rice cooking wine. Add one tablespoon of soy sauce and mix well. Some people use a chopstick to mix their seasoning into the ground or minced pork, but I like to use my hand. The reason I like to use my hand when I marinate ground or minced pork is that you can get all the seasoning mixed evenly into the meat. Set the meat aside and let it marinate for at least 15 to 20 minutes. Remove the skin off two cloves of garlic, cut into smaller pieces and add it to the martyr. I like to use the martyr and pistol so that it brings out the flavor of the ingredients. You're going to need to rinse and wash one tablespoon of preserved salted black beans and add it to the martyr. Mash the garlic and black beans together to bring out the flavor. Check out the description below for a link to a martyr and pistol set just like mine. Add one tablespoon of oil to the wok on high heat. Add the black bean and garlic to your wok and saute for 10 seconds. Push the black bean and garlic aside and add your marinated or minced pork and saute. Break up any large clumps that you find. Add the squash and mix everything together well. Cover and simmer on low heat until the squash softens. I suggest checking the squash every 10 minutes. Add one teaspoon of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix well and then continue to simmer the squash until it softens. When you notice that the squash breaks apart easily like this, you know it's ready to be served. If your squash or pumpkin produces a lot of liquid, you can add 1 teaspoon of cornstarch slurry to thicken the sauce. 
Slowly add the cornstarch slurry and mix well. Turn the heat off and then your dish is ready to be plated. To make a slurry, it's always a one-to-one -one ratio with cornstarch and water. So if you need to add a little bit more, you can do so. This braised butternut squash and minced pork stir fry is delicious on a bed of noodles or with a bowl of rice. I do hope you get a chance to try out this delicious, tasty, and healthy recipe. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, check out my other delicious, healthy recipes. Thank you for watching and see you next time.